All right, so uh, the beta version of my prop file for Prop US 5 is now available. Um, if you had the, if you downloaded the zip from yesterday, that was still the alpha version. Um, so this I just finished up and got it added. Um, so there's been a lot of changes. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be a longer video. I'm gonna try to describe all the controls and everything, but there's also a lot of uh, customization. So there'll be an entire write-up um, in terms of which defines to use if you wanna change how the controls work, change certain features, activate other features. Um, but I want to do a run through of everything. Um, so battle mode obviously being the big thing. By default, my prop file does include battle mode. Um, now battle mode will turn on with any gesture ignition that you assign, unless you decide to use one of the defines not to. Or, um, so if I turn this blade off, if I just use the power button, the blade is actually active in normal mode. So you get your normal flashes and everything and all the controls are normal. If you want to activate the battle mode, from being normal, you're going to hold your aux button and swing. And there's a new sound that you can assign. Mine will actually be a short music clip. So you hold the aux button and you take a swing. And now battle mode is active. So now my clash is actually going to be a begin lockup, end lockup in quick succession. And what tells the saber to do that is based on your movement. So if you clash and then pull away quickly, it does the begin lockup, end lockup as your clash. If you clash and hold relatively steady, it'll go into lockup. So, quick hit and pull makes your essentially your clash effect. But now if I hit and I hold steady, I get lockup. And you can still struggle with your opponent. It's just a quick pull away will actually end that lockup. So no buttons. And that's the big piece of battle mode is it's all gesture control. So how you control the hilt and blade is what controls battle mode. Now, while you're in battle mode, you also change how melt works. So melt you'll just do a stab effect and it'll actually go into melt. And you can still turn your blade to heat up the surface and then when you take it away from the walls when it ends melt. And then drag is also a stab but it's a stab down and again it's no buttons it's going to be gesture controlled. And you can still drag it along the floor and then when you lift it up off the floor is when it ends. Um, and then I just added a new feature. Now this one's optional so there's a define to do it but it's the force push. So it's gesture controlled in battle mode. And what it does is if you move your saber, if you keep your hilt static and push towards your opponent, um, it's going to do a push uh, sound. So push dot wave. If you don't have that in your font, it'll use the force sound. Um, it's only a sound effect, so no blade effects on it. Now the gesture itself takes a little bit of practice. I'm still even practicing. But it's basically a linear movement like this without a hard stop. If I hard stop, I'll get lockup, obviously, because it thinks it's a clash. So it's like that and it's not it doesn't have to be a large movement just for practice and for demoing it's just move in that direction towards your opponent if you have force push active in battle mode we'll do that push sound and mine's a little low so I don't know if you picked it up but there is a sound that's gonna play and it's just meant to be as if you were fighting in battle mode and you want to do a force push Oops, I had it before there it is. It does take some practice to get used to because um, if you do it too hard, you'll get lockup. So if I do it like that, I get lockup. So it's kind of getting that feeling for the, the sweet spot will take some practice. But that force push is now part of battle mode. Now, if I want to get out of battle mode, it's basically the same thing as going into it. You're going to hold aux and swing. It'll play a different sound, again, that's going to be based on your font. But So mine is just a force sound, which is really low. Um, but now I'm back to normal operation. So you can go in and out of battle mode as much as you want. The other piece now with the beta is anytime you retract your blade, so either with the button or if you use the twi if you activate twist off and retract your blade, battle mode is deactivated. So you can be in battle mode, deactivate the saber, and then you can go back in without battle mode, and then you can activate battle mode using the aux and swing. Or there's a lot of gestures. All of the gestures by default are going to automatically initiate battle mode. The idea being... So here's twist off. If I am just have my saber and I do a quick swing on, I'm in battle mode right away. I'm ready to go. And now I get my battle mode control and then all that. Um, same thing. I have added thrust on, which is just a forward movement. So that's now there. Stab on is still also available. Stab on requires that either that hard end, so a stab and an end, or a pull backwards. Thrust on just is a quick linear movement forward. Um, and then there's also going to be the twist on. Um, I don't think I have twist on in this plate. Oh, I do. Um, so twist on and then twist off, which you've seen. 
Um, those now, they're not default. You're going to add them using defines. And there's going to be the main ones. So if you do the swing on, twist on, stab on, or thrust on, the main ones with defines will automatically activate battle mode. And they actually have a second feature called fast on that I'm going to show a little bit in, in just a little bit. Um, if you want, though, there are now customization defines, which will allow you to do it without battle mode. So you can choose to have the swing on or the stab on or thrust or twist on without battle mode being activated automatically. So that's all in there. Um, so now, other than battle mode, we actually have a bunch of other new features. And actually, I'll... so the new power save mode has been activated. Um, power save mode is going to require a style that actually has power save in it, and that's in the write-up as well. And how it works, you're going to have to, I purposely limited this just because we're, there's so many button controls now to make it so that I can kind of double up. Your blade has to be pretty much pointing straight up to go into power save. And while it's pointing straight up, you're going to hold your aux and click your power. And that's a 50% dim. And, and on the camera, I know it washes out a little bit because of saturation. But the blade is now 50% dimmer. Now you can choose all the levels. So I can have it go in 10% increments. I can have it go 25% increments. I can have it, this one just has a 50% and 100%. It's all customizable based on the style. So you can actually have different styles on your saber that do different dimming effects. It plays a dim dot wave sound, which is what you heard. And this one, because it only has a 50 and 100, if I do it again, the blade will go back to 100%. So it's an on-demand power save. Now, if your blade's anywhere other than pointing straight up, that same control is actually going to go into color change mode. So again, you're going to hold aux and press power. And now I'm in color change mode, and this is going to use the color wheel. So I can just turn my hilt go through all my possible colors. You can turn quickly or slowly. The slower I find it easier to get into a specific color. And then when you get to the color you want, we'll go right there. You just click the power button and that will lock that color in. Um, so now you can do color change, but the controls for color change and power save are the same. It's really just blade pointing straight up does power save. Blade anywhere else other than straight up will do color change. Um, and then in addition, um, I skipped over this. So while um, this is for both battle mode and regular operation, lightning block is still the same. Lightning block um, has been around since OS4. Lightning block is just going to be holding the power button and clicking the aux button. And it'll do it for as long as you want. And it's actually got responsive controls so you can focus it. And then when you let go of your power button, it's going to end lockup. And that control stays the same in battle mode or without. So that one is gesture control, primarily because the because it's a, obviously a lightning attack. It's not physical, so a gesture or an impact couldn't trigger it. Um, so instead, we make that one stay as a battle con, uh, as a blade control. The other one that still uses buttons in battle mode and without is blast, obviously. So you just click your aux. But multi-blast is available in battle mode. So I, I think, actually, I lost track. Let me put it in battle mode by swinging. It's in battle mode. So now you can use multi-blast in battle mode. Multi-blast, you just hold the aux button for a second and release. You'll hear a blast sound. Now there is a new sound also you can add. I haven't added it yet. And now once you activate multi-blast, each swing is going to be a deflection of blast. So... So it lets you block multiple blasts without having to keep clicking that button. But then if you hit any button, or if you clash or lock up, it will end the multi-blast. So just clicking blast again now, and I can go back to normal swing. So multi-blast works the same whether you're in battle mode or not. It gives you more gesture controls. Um, but we didn't want to default multi-blast, because if you are actually battling, you don't want blasts going off all the time. So that one's triggered with an aux button held and released. And then you have it. Um, and then I'm losing track. So then let me show the features. Oh, the other new option, this is again an addition, so you would add this with a define, is that multi phase capability. Multi phase lets you jump uh, presets without retracting your blade. So to use multi phase, you're going to hold aux and you're going to twist while your blade is on. And it's going to jump to the next preset. Um, so you can use that to build a lot of styles. So this is my next preset, it will play that font out wave and it'll let you go into the next one. Um, and this is just a different blade style, but you don't have to retract the blade and go into the next preset, etc. It lets you just jump. Um, so that's all part of the 
um, main controls on the default. The multi-phase is in addition to with the define, the force push you add with the define, the swing on and all the gestures you're going to add with defines. Um, so then here we're going to go, I'm going to go, I want to show this is fast on. So fast on is another new feature. Fast on, what will happen is, so let me show this. So this style has a pre-on sound and a pre-on effect on it. If I just use my power button, it's going to do regular ignition, which will do the pre-on sound, and you'll get a pre-on effect, and then it'll ignite. And with the pre-on effects, I mean, there's so many you can do. You can do a ton of stuff. That one's very long, and that's uh, an eight-second one. You could do a quick one. You could do a short one. But essentially, with the prions, if you have a gesture control, a lot of times it, it kind of takes away from that effect. So what will happen now is I'll turn it off. So that was regular ignition with power. Now, this is the exact same style, but I have it set up. All the gestures will do fast on. Fast on just does ignition. It's, it ignores your prion sound, and it ignores your prion effect. So if I do swing on, oops, I hit my aux button, it just does the regular ignition, no prion. Same thing with the thrust on, it skips. And there's going to be options, so if you have gestures that you want the prion to be on, that's also in the defines, you can customize it. But by default, if you activate any of the gesture ignitions, it's going to use fast on, which will skip prion and the effects and just let you ignite your blade. Um, and it, it was more just how it looks. So if you have a swing on, but then you have an eight second wait until that ignition, it, to me it took away, so I've made this option. Some people like it, so you can customize it. And er pretty much everything that you're seeing gets some customization through the finds. Uh, let's see, I think that's all for when the blade is on. So now there's been a few other changes. Um, let's see, so with the um, changing presets while the blade is off, um, I've doubled up the button. So if your blade is horizontal or up, you'll go to the next preset. And some of these have really long intros. But if you point your saber down, it'll actually go back. So now it's going to the previous preset. And actually, I want to go to my first preset. So this is the one I wanted. I do, oops, I didn't want it on. Um, so while your blade is off, if you have a style that supports it, you can do the on-demand battery level. And that just is, it lets you add a style for battery level, but it lets you do it on demand. So for that, you would hold aux and click power. And I've been using this for a while, so I'm about halfway up the blade, and it's yellow, because that's the style it's on. You can have any. You can have it where it's just a bump on the blade. You can have it where it goes from green to red, which is what that is. I have it so that it's green to red, but also changes the height. So if it's at full, it'll be full blade and full bright green. And then as it reduces, it comes down. So I already know I'm about 50% on this battery just because of everything I've been doing. Um, but that lets you do battery check while the blade is off. And then I showed the presets. And then the last pieces are going to be the volume menu, which has been around for a while. While your blade is off, um, there is new sounds associated with volume menu, so you can set custom sounds if you want. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold the aux button. Release. Now I'm in the menu. Now I'm going to get a beep every time I click. If I click aux, it's going to drop the volume by 10% each time. And that longer beep, that tells me I've gotten down to 10%. You can't go, go below that. Now, if I want to raise the volume in volume menu, I just press the power button. And then again, that long high pitch beat means now I'm at 100% volume. So you can't go above 100% volume, you can't go below 10% volume. Um, but so volume menu is there. And then to exit volume menu, you're just going to hold that aux button again. So, so this is what gets a few people. They go into volume menu, they forget to exit it, and then they can't ignite their blade. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold and release aux again. And now I'm out of the volume menu. So now if I hit any button, it'll work like normal. So that's the main controls. Um, oh, I didn't show track. Actually, I don't think I, let me see if I have a track on this. Track, which I don't use track a lot, but track while your blade is off, you're just gonna hold and release power. Oh, I do have a track. And that just plays track, and that lets you do, you can swing and keep the track playing. And then if you wanna end the track, you just retract the blade. 
hold and release power again. So that was the last control, I believe. Um, so um, the the excuse me, been talking for a while. The new prop file is available in the new zip file for OS5 beta. Um, there's been a lot of changes since the alpha. Um, there's a lot more customization, but I've also changed controls and changed some of the defines. So please make sure you read through all the write-up. Um, I'll have the write-up on the TRA form. It'll also be linked in the description of this video. Um, because if you're, if you, particularly if you were an alpha tester and you were using it, I had to change, a lot of it was changed for improvements. Some of the changes were to make way for the new features like the fast on, like the power save, like the battery level. Um, and some of it was just, uh, you know, I had some people who had some good feedback. I also had just, the more I played with it, there were certain things I had to tweak. Um, so a lot of changes for beta. So this will be a little different from alpha in terms of getting uh, the defines in there, but also some of the controls and buttons are now different too. So that's why I wanted to put this video together just so everybody can kind of follow along. Um, test it out. Any bugs, any weird behaviors, um, report it on the TRA thread so that Frederick can take a look or I can take a look. Um, but uh, I'm really excited that we've got all these new features coming to OS 5. A lot of this stuff is, I, I think, going to be just a ton of fun, really enhance your lightsaber experience. So hope everybody enjoys. Thanks.